And there we have the bend from round I came. Look at the densely shrubby understory wooded swampy thing. And this is taking us all the way to Duxbury and Kingston if we were so ambitious. Fortunately, I'm not. And of course, that brings you all the way to Newburyport if you were ambitious. I was there yesterday, but I cheated. I took the train. Punch and fun. <laughs> Punch and Judy. This section of wintergreen birch root that's sticking up is indication of nutrition issues. The soil probably doesn't have much going for it. So when that happens, tree roots rise closer to the surface to scrape whatever they can from slowly dissolving leaf mulch and make do with that. It's like a thin porridge for a tree. And we're seeing a few hemlocks. Very common tree of northern slopes. Oh my lord, look at the size of that tumor. Woohoo, doesn't seem to impact the thing much. Completely pleasant air. I hear they're going to can it. And the trail's a breeze to follow. A minimal fuss kind of thing. You can thus focus your efforts on discovering things like whatever this strange mushroom is. It's a shelf racket fungi. But yeah, you don't have to put too much of your cognitive capacities on basic stuff like wherever am I? And I can see we're soon to round the bend and arrive at Fairyland Pond. It's interesting, it seems like there's more wildlife activity in midday forests in fall than there usually is in spring. But I imagine <coughs> it has something to do with migratory preparation. And so then, here we are. The bay circuit continues along the pond edge this way. We have some funny little 
Esker climbing trail this way of a little minimal blazing. And this is the way we came. Got a bunch of Canada's dabbling over in the pond. They're everywhere, but it's still funny watching them go buns up. It's quite a pond. picturesque decaying bench Fairyland Pond I can't remember it, I just had to look it up Fairy Tale Pond Who knows The bay circuit heads this way and follows along the shore. This heads down to some trails that Emerson and Thoreau like to use now and then when they're having their complicated discussions about vital matters of the day. And the whole thing turns into a cool little stream. Looks like it's eventually heading toward the Concord River. So it might be part of the Cambridge watershed. It's an amazingly crisp early autumn day. 